Hello everybody, it's the weekend and you know what that means. It means great deals and great games right here at our key shop. My name is Winfell and you can catch me every single day, including today, at twitch.tv forward slash felt on the school. We play them all, sports, RPGs, horrors, shooters, you name it, we play it. Come join us, have a nice chill. Or just come tell me I'm crap with the game. Either way, it works. Now first up we have Rogue Company from High Res Studios. It's a third person shooter. It's got great fast paced action, some wonderful weapons, and got that competitive nature you're gonna love. If you want a nice, very, very challenging game for the weekend, this is the one. Like I said, it's from High Res Studios, a great little studio there. Now we also have Iku Niku. Iku Niku? I hope I'm saying that right. I have no idea, but it sounds great. It sounds like a casual game, and that's exactly what it is. It's a 2D adventure game, full of action, full of wonder. You're always going to be discovering something new. Great little challenge as well. Honestly, try it out. We also have The Survivalists from Team 17. It's out on the 10th of October in just a few days. Um, it's got crafting, got some lovely adventure bits. As you can see, it's got co-op. It's online co-op, so you can play with your friends as well. It's single play if you don't have any friends. Um, explore an incredible world and um, have some fun. Street Fighter 5 is a bit more competitive. If you love your 1v1 fighting games, this is it for you. It's got some good story, it's got iconic characters, easy to pick up and play, but very difficult to master as well. It's for the hardcore fighting game enthusiasts out there. You now you can jump online and play some of the best Street Fighter players in the world. They're too hardcore for me. Game of Thrones, the board game, go to Westeros. Meet those characters from the series, from the books, and if you've ever wondered what it's like to fight for the Iron Throne yourself, then this game will be you. Um, it's got multiplayer as well, so you can play against other people or with friends as well. I said you just make your own, make your own history in Westeros. Baldur's Gate 3 um, comes out in just a couple of days. The first two games were wonderful, great stories, great adventure, great characters, some really good abilities, good skill trees as well. And as you can see, it's a beautiful looking game. And Baldur's Gate 3 is one I'm really looking forward to. You will lose years of your life on this game. Ride 4. Now, I'm not much of a ride, I'm more of a Formula 1 person myself. But this looks good. It's first person, it's third person. It's got racing, it's got great, great graphics as well by the looks of it. And it looks very competitive too. Now, if you like your racing games, Ride 4 you will not go wrong with it. It's for real. Probably, that's what it says. Now FIFA 21, it's the same game every year, same mechanics, same everything really, but I get it every single day. Very addictive. I will lose the next few the weeks to this game when it comes out. Um, it comes out on the 9th, so just a few days away, I think it's a week away. Leon and it's got PvP as well, Ultimate Team, it's got it all. FIFA. I Destroy All Humans, it's a remaster of the classic. It's a cool classic actually, I think at this point in time. Um, you play as an alien rather than a human and you just destroy all humans in there as well. You'll find more and more creative ways to destroy the world. Buildings, owls, you name it, you can pick it up, you can throw it, destroy all humans. Now Slap City is one of those wonderful um, platform fighting games as well. A bit like Smash Brothers, it's got unique characters, uh, unique little bits of gameplay as you can see. Some good maps as well, it's 2D. Um, most importantly, it is multiplayer. You can slap your friends. It's silly. Now, I've been wanting this game for a while as well. I've been trying to find a friend to play with. The way out, it's a co op game. It's got shooting as well. It's split screen, local or online co op. I should have mentioned that. Uh, and yeah, you're just trying to find a way out. And as you can see, it's going to need communication, going to need teamwork. Possibly a very good friend. I haven't got one, so I've not played it. Now, PES 2020. I've not played PES since probably the year 2000, um, but it looks fit. It's not changed much. Um, it's a lot brighter than FIFA. It's got rosters just like FIFA. Um, not really much I can say about this game, really. I have nothing to say. Yes. And that's our key shop. My name is Winfell. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.